What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys, I just got off of a off of, off of a cool, you know, strategy call with one of my friends, uh, Lita. Shout out to Lita, um, out there in Dallas, Texas, crushing it in real estate. And she just wanted to kind of pick my brain and 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 you know get my advice on on running Facebook ads, right, to build her real estate business, um, specifically to actually sell a property, a listing that she has. Okay, so. What I want to do here is I just thought I'd you know educate all of you guys and just show you these basic fundamentals and these basic strategies to really be effective at this type of advertising. Okay, so I wanted to kind of just jump on here and, and share it with with all of you guys. Now, here's the deal: as you come into as you come into your Facebook page, right? You can there's a, there's you know a few different ways you can get to the ads manager. You can and, and make sure you're doing this from a computer. You know, a lot of you guys try to, a lot of you guys try to do it from a cell phone or from some app. Do it from your computer, okay? Come into your come into your page, click on create, click on add, and that's going to bring you down back here to the ads manager, okay? Um, or you can simply come to your page, and you can click on this drop down, and you can go down to manage ads, and that's going to bring you over here to the ads manager. Now, if you don't see this exact exact layout, click on this drop down. You'll see this arrow right here. Click on this drop down. And then, um, and then you'll 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 be able to choose your account. Make sure you're running everything out of out of one specific ad account. A lot of times you'll see multiple ad accounts. So if you click on this drop down, you'll see multiple ad accounts. But what you want to do is make sure you're in the right ad account, and then make sure you click on these dots right here, and you're going to go to Ads Manager. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Now, what you want to make sure you do also first and foremost is make sure your billing is updated. Make sure you have a credit card on file. Um, because without having a card on file, Facebook's not going to allow you to, you know, run an ad. So make sure you click on billing, update the credit card information if you need to, um, change the billing date if you need to. Um, in my case, I have my date. It's actually one one date per month, so you can choose whichever date of the month you want Facebook to bill you. I have them bill me at the end of the month, which gives me the ability to run ads all month and not have to worry about a, 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 a cost, right? I just end up making that monthly payment at the end of the month. So that's just how I have mine set up. You can set it up however you want, but uh, make sure the billing is for sure set up. And then once you have that going, you're gonna simply cl click over here, click on create, and this is going to bring you to the setup. This is where the magic happens, okay? And I truly, truly believe, the reason why I'm cutting this video for all of you is because I truly believe 99% of people who try to run Facebook ads make the mistake on step one. This right here is step one. When it comes to clicking the green button and coming over here, there's three steps. Step one is the campaign. Step two is the ad set. Step three is the actual ad. Okay, so in step one, the campaign, Facebook wants to know what is your goal? Like, what is your objective? Okay, and that's why I want to spend some time on step one in this campaign um, level, at this campaign level, because this is the most important. If we don't choose the right consideration, the right conversion, the right awareness, if we don't choose the right one right here, nothing else matters. Okay, your ad doesn't matter, your video doesn't matter. What you put in the text, that doesn't matter. You're targeting, if you're targeting Dallas, that doesn't matter. If you do not have this part set up correctly, if you don't choose this part correctly, I should say. Now, when it comes to this part, it depends on what you, what you have on the back end. For example, if we're looking to capture leads, which is pretty much 100% of you guys that are watching this video, you're in some type of business where you need to capture a lead. Whether you're a real estate agent, you're looking to capture a lead. Whether you're building an, a social media marketing agency, you're looking to capture a lead. Whether you're a coach or some type of consultant, you're looking to capture a lead. If you're, if you're an affiliate marketer or selling any type of physical product on a website, you're looking to make a sell. So at the end of the day, all of us that are running Facebook ads, 99.99999% it's to do one of those things. You're either capturing a lead or you're making a sell. Bottom line, right? There's really nothing else to it. That's really what we're all here for. So with that being said, it starts here. If our goal is to capture a lead, there's a few different options that you need to be aware of, okay? Now, when I was on the phone with Lita, Lita I, was, I asked her, I said, hey, do you have any landing pages? Because this is an open house that she's looking to promote, right? Here's a post. 
now I told her that the way you have it set up now is you shared it from Benny's page. What you want to make sure you do for sure is post it on your page. It has to be native. It has to be officially posted here from you. That's your video. That's your post. You write out the text. It's coming from your page, not sharing it from someone else's. So make sure you do that first, right? The post goes up here. The text of whatever you want to put in the ad, it all goes right there. I put it here first. Now, some people will run the ad behind the scenes. So you just come over here and you set up a whole brand new ad without it being posted here first. But the reason why I post it here first is so whenever I do turn off that ad, it ends up staying on my page forever. Because why not? Like, why wouldn't I want it on the page forever, right? Like, I'm paying for it. Like, just because I turn off the ad, I still want it to show. Like, I still, even though the open house already passed, even though the listing already, already sold, it doesn't matter. I posted it. I paid for it. I want it to live here forever. That's why I post it here first versus not posting it here. Because if you do not post it here, and you just come into the ads manager and you run an ad and rather than, 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 than having the video here, you upload the video from your computer or an image, you upload it from your download you know, folder on your computer. The moment you turn off that ad, it's nowhere to be seen, right? So that's why, that's why I want to do it here first. So, so, so what you want to do is, is post whatever the heck you're going to advertise, your, your image, your video, the text, it all goes here first, just like you're posting any other post, nothing different, okay? But obviously in the text, you want some type of call to action. You want to tell them about the property in this case, whatever the heck we're promoting. Tell it to me in the text, okay? Now, what I asked Lita is I asked her, I said, okay, you have this open house or this listing that you're looking to run a Facebook ad. Number one question I asked her is I said, do you have a landing page? And she wasn't really too familiar with a landing page and most people aren't. And so I showed her what a landing page was and she said, no, I don't have, I don't have anything like that, which led me into the next way to direct her, which is what I'm going to share with you guys. Okay. And that's why the title of the, of the video is how to run an engagement ad, how to run an engagement ad is, is going to be, is going to be the topic of this, of this one, because you can run a lead generation ad for sure. I'll leave that for another video. Um, Let's, let's focus on engagement ad on this one and, and what exactly is an engagement ad. Okay, so I, I showed her a landing page. So I told her, I said, hey, if I was running it, I would be running it to a landing page. And this is what I showed her. I said, okay, so this is the, the ad. There's the text. There's the video. Open house coming up this weekend. Targeting the local area of Dallas. That's the ad. When people click on it, this is what I showed her. I said, when people click on it, here's where I would take them. I would take them to a landing page to capture the lead. So they see the ad in their newsfeed targeting that local area, okay? They click learn more, they come to one page like this, okay? Open house, Saturday and Sunday, 444 Third Avenue, San Diego, all this stuff you can edit. You can edit the image, you can edit the text. That's not even you know the important part at all. You can edit all that stuff. So the purpose of bringing them here is so they can click on that button and that's how you capture the lead. So for those of you that are actually really looking to crush Facebook ads, it's not just one ad. You want to be running multiple ads. And I even told her, I said, is it, is it just this one ad that you're looking to run? And she said, yeah. And that's why I said, okay, maybe landing page software might not be for you because if you're not planning on running ads all the time, there's no need to pay a hundred bucks a month for landing pages, right? Um, and that's the advice I give to you guys. Landing pages, email automation, um, it's only necessary for those that are actually running traffic. If you're not paying, if you're not running Facebook ads all the time, every single month, you don't even need landing pages. Like what are you gonna do with your landing page? Take the link and share it on social media when 99% of people don't even care? Like no, like it, there, there's no need for landing pages, that, landing pages at that point. But if we're going to run them all the time, then yeah, landing pages is a for sure, for sure, super important investment because this is where you want to be driving your traffic, capturing that lead. Once they click on that yellow button, then they're put into your email autoresponder, which now that email list is nurtured by receiving emails all the time from you. Now, whenever I email my list, 
no more having to pay for advertising, right? So that's, that's, that's the dream. It's, that's the official goal. That's the real goal is to drive them to a landing page to collect that email and then nurture that list to build, to build rapport, build a relationship, and communicate with people via that email list. And, and especially if you're running a local business and you're running local ads, you have the ability through this one strategy alone to build an email list of hundreds of people that live in your backyard. Like that's powerful. That's super, super powerful. Now, again, in her case, she's only running one ad and she's not going to be running multiple ads. So therefore I said, okay, landing pages is not what you want to do. Now over here, that would have been conversions. Okay. So for those of you who are running it to a landing page, looking to capture leads, it's conversions. Now, since she does not have landing page software, then I told her, I said, okay, your next two options to run this ad is going to be engagement or it's going to be lead generation. Okay. So these are the two that you can, you can choose from. Now, if you know how to run lead generation, then, then go through that. I have a whole nother video, um, on that, which, uh, which, which, um, in fact, I'll tie to the end, I'll tie to the end on how to run a lead generation ad, but it's really those two options. Now, now she's not now shout out to Lita sending my love out to Lita, but at the same time, she's not super, super tech savvy when it comes to Facebook ads. That's why I didn't want to show her the lead generation uh, process on how to set that up. I wanted to keep it as super simple as I could. Um, and as I can, um, and that would be engagement. So walking you through this engagement ad is what I'm going to show you. This is as basic as it gets. This is how you can still take that listing, that open house and get a ton of exposure in that local area for not the highest amount of cost. Like it's not going to cost you a lot at all. And it's not going to be super techie where you have to learn all these steps of how to set up a lead generation ad. Cause there are quite a few steps to setting up the actual lead form. Um, so if you're not going to, you know, spend time and, 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 and have patience to set up a lead generation ad, then, then engagement is going to be, is going to be your next best bet. Um, or you can do messages, but then you got to set up the messenger app, which is in many cases, many chat, and that's a whole separate software. So we won't even do messages. We're going to keep an engagement. Now, what is an engagement ad? An engagement ad is when you're targeting that local area. So we're going to take this post right here. We're going to target Dallas, for example, and we're going to show it to everyone in that area. Okay. Now, an engagement ad is whenever you come across a, a sponsored post, let me see if I can just see one randomly. Let's see if we can, if that's not one, um, let's see if we can find a, an engagement ad. And sometimes you'll see them, sometimes, you know, you won't, but, okay, let me, let me just give you an example of this one. Shout out to Carrot. They do a lot of real estate marketing. Here's a perfect example, okay? Now, this is not an engagement ad, but it's also a perfect example. Whenever you come across an ad, a sponsored post, that's an ad, right? There's the text, there's the video, there's the learn more. When I click on learn more, he's taking me off of Facebook. He's taking me to a landing page, okay? That's what I showed you with this one over here. This is a landing page. The ad that he is running is conversions, okay? So again, if you're driving it to a landing page, that's the, 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 the objective right there. It's conversions. But if we're not, then it's going to be engagement or lead generation. Now, I know for a fact that this is not either one of those. It's not a lead generation ad, and it's not a engagement ad. Because if it was an engagement ad, I would see 79, 79 likes. I would see 57 comments. I would see 27 shares. You would see that engagement. You would see that those, those, those numbers right there. That's an engagement ad. Now, in my opinion, it's still super powerful because I'm targeting Dallas. I'm targeting that local area. Now, the only difference is in this case, running an engagement ad is now I have to micromanage, meaning I have to constantly be looking at my Facebook because I have to look at all these comments that are coming in because that's what we're paying for. We are paying to get people in a local area to engage with the post. Now, if I'm targeting Dallas and I'm targeting a bunch of people that, that I'm not friends with on Facebook, I'm targeting people who do not even like my business page, which I'll show you how to do that through the setup process here. But 
I'm not targeting any of those. I'm not targeting Facebook friends. I'm not targeting people who like my business page. So therefore, every single comment that would come in are from people that I don't know, and these people are seeing my ad. And the only reason why they would comment, because it's an engagement ad, the only reason why is because they're freaking interested. It's the only reason why. It's, a, it's, a, it's an open house coming up or it's a listing. Why else would you comment? Like, why else? Unless you're just commenting for the hell of it. Hey, nice property. Or hey, you know, freaking, I don't know. What the hell would you even comment if you weren't interested in, in what the heck I was promoting? So most of those comments that are going to come in are from people that are interested. People are going to share it. So that's even powerful as well. You're going to be getting a bunch of people in your local area to share it on their social media, to share it on their Facebook. That's what you're paying for, engagement, okay? So given where, where her, her knowledge you know, is at on running Facebook ads, that's why I said, you know what? Let's just do an engagement ad. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'll send you this video and run an engagement ad, okay? Because it's again, it's just it's just in my opinion the easiest one to set up. So here's how we're gonna set it up. We're gonna go engagement. Okay. Now, once you click on engagement, then this box is gonna appear. Okay. It wasn't there before I clicked on conversions or before I click on any of these. You didn't see that special ad category. Because she's a real estate agent, you have to for sure check that box and make sure this is housing. Okay. As long as you do that, you're fine. Now we're gonna go engagement. Okay, so let's go back to her post. Here's the post right here, okay? So this one right here is 65 or 651 County Road. That's what I'm going to title it. So I'm going to walk you through the setup of it right now. Engagement, we're going to come down, and, it, and by default, you'll already see it, post engagement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to space, put a, put a dash. I'm going to paste in the actual address, Okay. And then I'm gonna make sure that these both are gray because sometimes you'll see it shaded a blue. We wanna shade that gray, both of those, and then we're gonna hit continue. This is how to run a Facebook engagement ad, okay? And so what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna simply come up to the title and I'll paste that address in right there as well, okay? Now, here's what we do. Because we most likely don't have any custom audiences, this is pretty much her first ad. There's no custom audiences, so we won't worry about that. Now, this right here is very, very important because I want to target my local area. I want to target where that property is listed. Although people relocate and you never know where your next buyer is coming from, I want all the attention, especially if we're spending money on this, I want it to be all in that area. I want everybody to know about this open house. I want everybody to know about the listing. I want all the local community to know about what's going on. And so what I want to do is I want to choose this drop down, and I want to go people living in this location. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to base everything around this address. So if I come over here and I type in 651 County Road, let's just paste it in and see if we get anything. Um, we're looking for the drop down and we're looking for Texas. Let's go Texas. Okay, so there it is there. It's this one right here, which which I'm pretty sure it's that one. But even if it's not that one, here, here's the, I mean, this is a clear example of, of how to do it. So whether that's the right address or not, what I would do is I would either base it around the address or I would just type in the city. So that's the option as well, whatever the city is. Or if I'm looking to target a completely different city, I would target that city. But in this case, it's an open house. It's a listing. We want all the attention in that area. So let's say, for example, this is the right one. Now I can... 15 miles is the minimum. I can go up as high as I want on the targeting. 15, 16, I can go 20 miles. That's kind of, you know, a, a far way out, but it's, it's up to you. But 15 miles is for sure the minimum. So I'll leave it at 15. Okay. Now, what I also want to do is I scroll down. You can no longer change the age. You can no longer change the gender. Now, this is specifically for housing. If you're not running housing ads, then you can change age and gender. But um, with housing, you cannot. Language, you could target Spanish. In this case, Lita is, is Hispanic, and she has a huge, huge Hispanic community and, and followers. So she could for sure come into the ad and only target people who speak Spanish. And in that case, if you're targeting only people who speak Spanish, then the post over here, the ad, write this out in Spanish, okay? You can write that out in Spanish, 
and then and then and then you can come over here and only target people who speak Spanish. Okay. Now, if you're going to type the ad and put the text in English, you could do English and Spanish. That's what I would do. If I was Lita, she has you know a market from both both angles. I would do English and Spanish. Write out both. Write out everything. That, and here's what you're writing. You're writing the specs. You're writing the specs. Um, three bedroom, two bath, huge yard, four acres, swimming pool. You know, you're writing whatever catchy text you want to write about the property. And then what you can also do just for the heck of it, you can add a few. I wouldn't do too, too many, but you can go to emojicopy.com, which is this right here, emojicopy.com. And you can maybe add some a little emojis inside of the text. That way it doesn't look so plain, right? Like it and share. It doesn't look so plain. You can actually come to this one, emojicopy.com. And you can add a few different emojis, like maybe add a property or add a smiley face or add something, you know what I mean? Like just to, just to make it stand out. And that's all emojis do. Emojis make, make the post as you're going through the newsfeed and, and you're just seeing, you know, different random posts from different people. The emojis psychologically makes a person pause. So if I'm scrolling through and I just see text, right? There's a video. I just see text. There's the image. I just see, you know, more, more and more text. The moment I see some type of emojis, it allows us to stop in our place and just take a second look, right? So emojis are super powerful, but you don't want to, you don't need to add too many and you don't want to add too many. Um, but that, that's, that's for sure, you know, uh, 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 an option. So over here, I can go Spanish and I can go English if I want. So if I go Spanish, I can go English all. There, boom, I'm targeting those two areas. Now, because we're only targeting this small area of 15 miles, this specific location, this is where the property is located, I would leave this detail targeting, I would leave it open. I would leave it open. The only time you really want to come in here and put some keywords and really target some interest or some behaviors or some demographics based on what people like or, or the job title. The only time you really, really want to do that is when you're, when you're, when you're running ads for a nationwide type of business. If you're running up ads and you're targeting the entire country, then, then, then being more specific on, on the targeting is necessary. But if I'm targeting a very specific location, a small, a small location, I'm going to leave that blank. I won't even put in keywords right there. Now, here's what I want to do also on the connections. Click on that, and I'm going to exclude everyone who likes my page. Because chances are, the people who like your business page, 99% of them live across the country. So I don't need to, to have any of my advertising going towards those people at all. I want to focus every single penny targeting that area. That's it. So I'm going to have to exclude my business page. Okay. So I would do that. And then I would scroll down. I would leave it on automatic placements. Facebook does a very good job on, on, on placing the ad and, 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 and making sure that your dollar really goes far where they're not wasting it. So I would, rather than manual placements, I would just leave it on automatic. And then I would come down here and this is what we're optimizing for post engagement. So it's not impressions. It's not daily unique reach. It's post engagement, which that will already be there by default. And then here's what you want to do. You want to change this daily and you want to go to lifetime. Okay. It's the same dollar amount. So whatever you plan on spending 20 bucks a day for 10 days, let's just use that as an example. Rather than me going daily budget of $20 per day, and rather than doing that, right, daily budget, let's go back to daily budget. Rather than going daily budget of, of $20 per day, what I would do, and again, it just comes down to how many days we're running it. What I would do if we're running it for 10 days is I would go lifetime budget. And then I would change the day and, and, and whatever day, whatever time of the day it is, chances are your midday chances are it's already freaking, um, you know, um, 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 in the afternoon. So depending on when you're running this ad, if it's already midday, if it's already afternoon, I for sure do it this way because I want to set the calendar for the next day. So right now it's May 4th right now. It's, it's freaking, what time is it? It's, it's, it's 11 o'clock my time, right? So what I would do is I would set this for the 5th and I would set it for 6 a.m. 
because I want to give Facebook plenty of time to review and approve the ad. I don't want it to go out right now. I don't want to set the calendar right now. I want to set it out a few hours in advance, right? So in my case, what I do most of the time, now again, if it's the morning, if it's 11 o'clock, like it's 11, actually it's 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock my time. What I could do since it's 12 o'clock, it's noon, I could set it to go live at 6 p.m., which gives Facebook six hours to review it and approve it. Now, sometimes they take longer than that. That's why what I always do, based on my experience, I just set it for the next day. So I'd go May 5th, and I would, I would set it for, for 6 a.m. to go live the very next morning. Okay, so that's what I would do in this case. Now, if our budget is $20 a day, and I plan on running it for 10 days, I'm going to go lifetime budget. 200. Okay. I'm going to go lifetime budget to 200. And then I'm going to make sure that I change the calendar. So right now it is May 4th. Actually, let's go start date. So May, May 5th. And I'm going to change this to the, if I'm only going to run it for, if I'm going to run it for 10 days, then it's going to go to the, to the 15th. Okay. So there's my 10 day period. And I'm going to make sure that I change the, the end time as well, and I'm gonna to go to 6 a.m. So whether I'm running a daily budget at 20 bucks or I'm running a lifetime budget for 200, it's the same thing. But but I do it this way so I can start, uh, I can set up a start time, and I, I can I can also um, um, have an end time. And this allows me to also not forget about the damn ad because I've spoken to so many people where they're like, damn, David, Facebook charged me 700 bucks and I had no idea I had ads on. It's like, dude, because you're, you're running daily budget and you're forgetting about the ads that are freaking on. Turn that damn thing off, right? But most importantly, set the time, set the budget and make sure you don't overspend. And that's how you do it. You set a start date and you set, set, set an end date and you go lifetime budget. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. And then down here, you don't have to worry about any of that. We'll hit continue. And then this is the third and final step, okay? So back up here, the title, I mean, you can leave it whatever, but then again, I just, I just bring it over again, the same, same address. And then down here, what I want to do now is I want to choose, hit the drop down, and make sure you see your business page. So whatever that business page may be, let's say, for example, it's Melissa. Melissa posted the ad on the business page first, right? So now, as we get to this third and final step, we're going to go with use existing post. I'm going to click on select post. I'm going to find that post. Let's say, for example, it's this one. I'm going to hit continue. And there goes the ad. Okay, so the ad will be posted right up here. Let me go to back to Melissa's page. Make sure you make sure you check on that damn thing, because sometimes by default, it'll take you back. So let's let, so now we got her page up there. Let's select post, and let's say, for example, we go with this one. Okay, we hit continue, and then now that post becomes the ad. Now, if I didn't do it that way, so as it populates, we'll see it over here to the right-hand side. There goes the ad, okay? That text she wrote out, that image she posted on the business page first. Now, if I didn't do it that way, then I would come, I would come over here and I would hit create ad. And then I would, I would simply pull the image or pull the, the video from my computer. So I would click create ad, and then I would click a single image or video. That's that. And then I would go over here, actually. I would go over here, and then I would add image, or I would add video. So let's say, for example, I add image. I'm going to come up here, and then to the top left, most likely that image may not be right here. These are just past Facebook uh, images for ads. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Upload, and then it's going to bring me to my computer where I'm going to find that image. I'm going to either find that image or I'm going to find that video. Now, again, now I'm running it from the actual um, – my computer, right? So that means when I actually turn off the ad, then it's nowhere to be seen. That's why I want to post it on my business page first. So when I turn it off, it's going to be there forever. Okay. So I just like it that way. You guys can choose whatever you want. But again, in this case, I'm going use existing post. And then it's going to, it's going to pull that, that post 
down here, it's going to ask for a call to action button. Now, here is where you can put you could put a link to your landing page, but you don't have a landing page. You could put a link to your website, but don't hold your breath. You ain't going to capture leads from it because chances are your website has a million things to click on. So that's not where you're going to capture leads. But in this case, it's not even a lead capture type of ad. It's an engagement ad. So any activity is going to happen on Facebook. So in this case, what I normally do is I'll just put a send message button. Send message, and if anyone clicks on it, then I'll get a Facebook message. But again, that's not the objective, so don't hold your breath for people to send you a message on it either. Now, it could be it, you could get send messages because it is an engagement ad, so people for sure, that's what I would do for sure, now that I really think about it, put a send message because any engagement whatsoever is going to stay on Facebook. So if they see the ad and they see the send message, for sure, that is engagement. So they could send you a message, uh, no, doubt, no doubt about it. But at the same time, it's an engagement ad. So what I want to do is I want to really be, be on the lookout for any notifications that start to come in. And those notifications will come in just like your other notifications over here to, your, to the right. When, when you click on the bell, just like those notifications come in, these same notifications will be coming in because all they're doing is, is commenting, liking, or sharing the post. And, and again, every single person that engages are, is going to live in that area. Okay. So that's what's super powerful. Now, again, in closing, the reason why we'd run that is because we're not driving it to a landing page. The reason why we're running that is so we don't get super complicated. It's not super complicated setting up a, a lead generation ad, even though a lead generation ad, when I come back over here to step one, the campaign level, the objective, it's not super, super difficult to set up a lead generation. But in this case, she wants it fast. She doesn't have a whole lot of time to learn it. And this is the best one you can do. You can focus on engagement and just get a ton of people in that area to engage in the ad. So if I come back over here to the last and final step, this is the messenger setup. Now, the reason why there's now a messenger setup is because I chose the call to action of send message. So right over here, because I chose this call to action of send message, then this, bot, this drop down po pops up and then I can, I can hit generate leads and then I can create a whole new layout of, of, of just a, a handful of messages that are automated, okay? Now, again, right here, Hi, please answer a few questions so we can get started. Now you can do this, you can do this and, and set that part up. See, and, and also this error, error, make sure there's not text in that image. There's text in the image and that's why they're telling me it may reach fewer people because there's text. Um, so you don't wanna put too much text in the, in the image at all. Um, and so you can go through this setup right here and just click on create or if you want to find out more about this click learn more but again it's it's really just an engagement ad so i'm not even looking for a bunch of people to necessarily message me i'm looking for people to engage and i'll just focus on those comments i'll focus on that engagement and and get people into my world that way okay so right here start conversation suggest topics or questions and then and then you could just click create and go through that setup and then once you're done with that which is super simple all you're going to do it's come down to the bottom and click confirm. And that is it, you guys. So now we set up our budget. We set up our targeting. We set a calendar so we don't overspend. And now all the attention of that one post is going to be going to that local area. And that's where your next buyer is coming from. So that's how you set up an engagement ad, you guys. Let's go back to the step one to the campaign. Um, make sure you're checking this box. Um, and, 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 and what you, here's, here's the last thing that I'll say in closing. If you are the type of business that's looking to capture leads or make sales, you absolutely have to start driving it to a landing page. Conversions is going to be your best bet. You can do lead generation, but there's just a few more steps involved, which in my opinion are one too many steps. I'd rather just go conversions, drive it straight to a landing page, get that person to opt in. Now all of a sudden that person's on my email list. Now they can start receiving emails from me. That can all happen through lead, lead generation as well, but you do have to you do have to implement a few more steps. Zapier is one software that you'll eventually have to start paying for to connect it all. Then you got to pay for your landing page software. Then you got to pay for your email automation software. So I just use one software for everything. 
and then and then I'll run conversion ads to that one software. And and my one software is for my landing pages, my email automation, and my calendar. Okay, there's a you know you, that's a whole other software. So I use one software for those main three tools, and that's Profit with Kartra dot online. So you'll see a 14 day trial. You'll see a link in the description. Um, that's the software I use. But again, it's only necessary if you're running paid traffic. If you're not running paid traffic, you don't need landing pages. You don't need an extra monthly fee, right? Because the landing pages is $99 a month. There is a 14 day trial, but it's 99 bucks a month. But, but at the same time, man, I'm telling you in 2020, from this point on your landing page software and your Facebook ad budget, is literally all you need. You could take those two things right there and absolutely scale your business to the moon. You could take it to seven figures, eight figures. You can get to the freaking, you can, you could take your business out of this world by those two simple things, Facebook ad budget and landing page software. That's all you need. And Kartra is the one for it all. I run everything out of that one software. Um, so there's a 14 day trial profit with Kartra dot online. Um, for any of you that set up your, your 14 day trial, message me, you know, send me a message. Let me know. We'll set up a strategy call. I'll walk you through the software and I'll help you get off to a fast start free of charge. You will have all my time um, that you could possibly need. That's the landing pages. Okay. So if you're new to Facebook, Facebook ads, FB ads for beginners, that link is in the, is in the description as well. Jump on my VIP list where I teach you just these basic fundamentals on Facebook advertising to help you run the most profitable ads in 2020 and beyond. So that, that link is in the, is in the description, FB ads for beginners, uh, jump on that list. But that right there, you guys, that's an engagement ad. That's to keep all the traffic on Facebook. That pretty much is your beginner friendly ad that can be super, super powerful and effective. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.